Happy June, everyone. I'm so excited to share an energy update for this month because first of all, I'm really proud of us. We made it through Mercury in retrograde in May. We made it through eclipse season. And here we are in June where the theme this month is all about alignment. We all know intuitively that everything always works out in our highest favor and greater good. But this is the month where we truly embody that trust it and believe it and trust that we are the ones who are creating our own alignment through the inner work that we do and with aligning with those higher timelines to the choices we make because choice is how we generate new timelines and align with those higher timelines choice was a massive theme in may many of us reached those individual and collective uh, choice points and now is the time for us to see how those choices we made put us into greater alignment with ourselves, with the inner self, with inner child, and of course, with higher self. I also think it's very fitting that it's so gloomy out while I'm filming this. It provides great contrast for the energy we will be experiencing in June. There is lightness and there is flow. And through these storm clouds that we see here uh, behind me, what's actually going on is the movement that's getting us into greater alignment with ourselves. And so what I'm referring to is think about all those inner storms that we've been processing through the beginning of the year, how patient and loving you were with yourself all that self-worth that you cultivated is finally paying off this month. Now, in one level, it's actually always paying off because you're healing yourself, right? And you're integrating all those big um, self-realizations that have um, come to the surface through all your work. But in June, you're going to see the fruits of your labor. And in June, the reason you are going to see the fruits of your labor is because the energy of this month with the combination of Gemini season and then Cancer season is already working to bring all that positive energy within you up to the surface for integration and embodiment. And that's what we do when we embody something. We walk with all our new knowledge and all the new information that we've gained on the cellular level. And now we'll see that we speak differently, we act differently, and we have the confidence to create differently, more so in creating bigger things and going after those bigger goals. In June, we enter new cycles and we close doors that we may have left open and forgot about. But this is the month to fully shut those old doors and walk through the new ones. All the energy of things that have been left open or into the unknown are finishing out their old cycles to bring you into that alignment with yourself. And you can't really walk through that new door if your energy is still stuck in the old door. Well, the energy this month is going to bring this up on its own. Those instincts that are in you will awaken. The ones that say, I'm ready for the new and I'm ready for all the goodness in my life. And all the work I've done on myself is here around me, within me, and here to express itself. And that's the energy that you're bringing through that door. So walk through those new doors with swagger and with confidence because you earned it because you did the work since the beginning of the year and frankly, all of your life. So this is the month to demonstrate that with how you carry yourself and all the new cycles you deserve to access. Now, the key to this concept is that we are closing those doors with gratitude and appreciation for our path. We are grateful for everything, those opportunities, opportunities, people, job experiences, whatever it is for you on your personal journey, we are grateful for what that has taught us. And we get to bring that knowledge and information we've learned about ourselves into those new doors. Gratitude and appreciation for everything that you've experienced is actually how we align with the higher dimensions because they are made out of that energy. How we enter the fifth dimension, the quantum sphere, is through being in gratitude and appreciation. So when you access those new doors, you are actually accessing those higher dimensional doors and timelines that are made of not only, like I said, gratitude and appreciation, but unconditional love, because those themes are actually expressions of unconditional love. And that's what you get to walk through those new doors with. So as you close those old doors, be grateful for the people and the experiences who got you to this exact moment in time. If someone can no longer walk the path with you, you are still allowed to appreciate them and love them. And now take all that love with you into the future for you and everyone's highest good and greatest alignment. Alignment's all about integrating the lessons you've learned through your life experiences and then making the choices that align you with where you are in your consciousness. So as you move forward into June, you'll see through your reflection of everything and everyone that you're grateful for, that the choices you make will be inspired by getting into deeper alignment with your truth, with your goals, and with your higher self. Because how we align with our higher self 
is through embodying our greatest joy and enthusiasm, but fully being ourselves. So as you reflect on the last couple of weeks, especially the last few weeks of May, when we got out of all the like retrograde and, and fun moon things that were going on, you'll have much more clarity on who you are and then the parts of you that are here to integrate. And of course, walk with embodiment. June is also a time to remember the personal boundaries that you set uh, with other people in your life. The reason is the universe responds to the boundaries that we set. So as we are moving further in alignment, if there's something we're not speaking up about, or if we're not saying no to something, we're not going to align with the highest version of ourselves because we're letting people and maybe even ourselves get away with old toxic behaviors. That's why boundaries are actually another theme that we're working through this month. I do have a video all about how to set boundaries. This will give you all the details and of course, all the different types of boundaries that are available to us that we might not always think about, but they're there and they're only gonna support you in reaching greater alignment this month. Now what's really exciting about this month is that it's going to bring a huge shift in healing ancestral wounding. The energy this month is going to support this and bring this up on its own. So you might not even know that you're doing this, but a lot of things that are stored in the subconscious or in the pineal gland through the DNA are shifting because of the energy this month. It's responding to alignment. And as we heal this ancestral wounding, that's going to bring you deeper into alignment with your true self because you're not going to be carrying these old patterns that don't belong to you anymore. Part of the reason these ancestral shifts have been healing on their own is because there's been massive collective healing on those themes. This is because the majority of people now have become aware of healing themselves and doing inner work. So because of that, that sort of shifted the whole trajectory of this planet and this timeline. So a lot of stuff that's come up for healing, it might feel really overwhelming, especially during say eclipse season. Well, the reason this has been coming up is because so many people are coming into more self-awareness and shifting those familial patterns because they don't want to carry and perpetuate those cycles of trauma or that family wounding anymore. So this is such a big theme this month that little things that you do might um, spark this within yourself. You might not even be aware of it, but the good thing is that this this is all coming up to shift deep patterns and purge on their own. So if you feel a little bit tired, especially mid month or as we enter cancer season, it's actually perfectly normal because when we shift into the time of the moon, those things that have been hidden, especially in the ancestry line, will come up to get processed and integrated. What's really interesting is that as this ancestral healing comes up, you might find you get along with your family more or you might feel a little bit more tension Either way, there's a different kind of shift taking place. So if you're feeling like you're closer to them, it's because you've reached more compassion and empathy for the lineage. Now, if there's a little bit tension, those are the sort of walls or roadblocks that are within the line that need a little bit more support. So be super patient with yourself because the more you love yourself through this process and understand how much you are shifting in a generational line, the easier it will be for you to have that self-compassion and to process everything that's coming up for you. What's even more interesting is that this is happening during Gemini season. So Geminis, as we know, are expressive. They're all about communication, about the mind and vocalizing these themes. Well, with the ancestry line, it's very interesting the way this works together because Gemini is also about community and connections. So you're gonna be processing that internal community and connection that say you grew up with, right? So let's say family or even with chosen family, you're gonna see a shift in all kinds of relationships this month with the familial ones, with friends, with partners. This is because so much is coming up in everybody's generational line and it's only going to bring everyone into more alignment with their true selves. Because when we process these emotions, we become more authentic with ourselves and with our feelings. And that's how we actually align with the truest version of ourselves. It's all about authenticity this month and the energy this month is perfectly going to support that. Now this concept gets even more exciting as we shift into cancer season around June 21st or so because we are ruled in cancer season by the moon and the moon represents our relationship to family, our relationships to others and our relationship to our ancestors. So you see the energy from June 1st all the way until, you know, whenever cancer season ends in July is supporting those deep interpersonal relationships with family and then the ancestral wounding. That's why so much of this is coming together starting at the beginning of the month. And what it's gonna do is you're gonna see maybe some of that wounding, you know, bumping into each other. The sparks that are going to come from this is what's creating the catalyst and the big change to bring us all into deeper alignment with ourselves.
The moon also represents our relationship to home, the concept of home, who we choose to be our home. And as we know with cancers, cancer is all about home, emotion, and intuition. All of these themes play very closely together with the ancestral healing that's gonna be taking place in June. But the other aspect of this is that processing uh, the wounding that some of this stuff might trigger. All those patterns that are coming up from the subconscious are helping us to create the home within ourselves. The home within ourselves being the heart center, right? So this being open and activated, having that sense of home within ourselves is a massive theme this month. And the way we get there is through processing all the ancestral stuff, all the wounding and the emotional energy that's gonna be coming up this month. And then our integration is realizing that we are our own home. And that's the most important thing that we can even do on a spiritual journey is realize that we are home, that we are infinite. And this is what I mean by alignment, aligning with that higher self and that concept of home is a really high spiritual teaching and concept because we always look for things outside of ourselves to be home. We look to build relationships in other people, build homes in other people, right? Um, some people want security, so they'll build their home in their bank account and that will reflect safety and security. Well, if we are leaning towards safety and security, the number one place you wanna build this is within yourself, within your body, and of course, within the heart center. So the true concept of home is what we'll be aligning with this month. Now, as cancer season moves into July, that's a different kind of energy. We'll be working with more of that creative fire Leo energy. But another massive thing is happening in July, and that's that I will be attending Taylor Swift's The Eras Tour, and best believe I will be making a video on that. Now, another important thing to remember in June is to feel your feelings. Feeling is such a big part of the sign of cancer. We all know that. But this is about actually honoring your feelings and your emotions, not blocking them out, because that's actually how you get into alignment with the true self. All the healing we want to do, ascension, all of that happens through the emotional body, through healing the emotional body. And the way you do that is to feel every single thing that comes up for you. Even those painful emotions, I would say especially those painful emotions, because that's the gold. That's what wants to be alchemized for you to be in alignment with your highest self. Sometimes we can learn very gentle lessons from the universe. Sometimes life feels like it's putting us through a massive gauntlet, but either way, feeling your way through that is how you attract those higher experiences and how you learn lessons in different ways. So if you're numbing yourself out to life and all of your struggles, you're not gonna actually overcome those obstacles. So let the energy this month support you in doing that. You're gonna find it actually is um, really soothing. Whether you cry your eyes out to a beautiful song or you let yourself feel states of joy that you never gave yourself because maybe you felt you weren't worthy of that. Either way, feel the entire spectrum of emotions this month. Trust me, that's going to create so much creative energy, joy, and passion for you to tap into in July. If you're not sure if something you're feeling is coming from the ancestry line or is a massive ancestral pattern, pay attention to what emotion is hitting you the hardest. So if it's grief or if it's anger and you feel it so deeply and it feels like it's not moving, that's how you know this is a massive theme through the generational line. So that's where you're gonna allow yourself as much patience as possible to work through it and everything that's coming up for you. Those big ones that feel like they're cycles that they are repeating, those are the clues you need because once you heal this, you're not gonna attract the experiences and maybe even the other lifetimes where you need to play these emotions out with other people. Also take the time to feel into what alignment means to you. Meditate on that concept and what you even want to align with. If alignment for you means actually aligning with those truths that you want to embody, this is the time to do that. So if you're engaging in any toxic behaviors or self-sabotage, things that are keeping you from aligning with that higher version of yourself, those are the clues you need. Those are the breadcrumbs you've left yourself to go, okay, if I take on this challenge, this is how I shift and align with that higher version of myself. If you want to attract something or align with a specific goal, then there's certain actions that you can take to create that alignment. So say you want to attract a new relationship, right? You want to attract and align with a conscious and loving partner, then meet those things within yourself. 
where can you be more loving to yourself, more truthful and more conscious? Because then what you put out is going to attract those exact things that you want to alignment. So yes, this month we are really focusing on personal alignment, aligning with the higher self, the, the true self, those higher truths that maybe we even want to embody in this lifetime and work with. But you can also align with your spiritual goals, um, any other goals in this physical realm that you just want to experience. Maybe you want to align with a new job. Whatever that is, you have all the tools you need to get to that space. Whether it's seeing different parts of yourself come up, when you're meditating, you can see what kind of emotions arise for you. Or maybe it's in your day-to-day -day life when you're driving or you're doing something and then you get hit with a wave of inspiration. These are clues to help you align with anything that you want to attract into your life. I can't really talk about alignment without talking about the number 1111. Now I have an entire video that I filmed in Sedona all about what it means when you see 1111 and how to work with sacred numerology. The reason I'm bringing this up now in this video is because as you're working towards alignment, you will see a lot of numbers. The word alignment is associated with 1111, 222, 33 being a master number, 22, you name it. So you're going to see a lot of those things. Those are signs. Those are synchronicities that you can listen to. Those are going to show you um, progress or they might show you, hey, take a different path. Either way, pay attention to numbers this month because the theme is alignment and things that are going to get you there will show up on license plates, right? Um, something you hear while you're driving on the radio, whatever it is, those symbols will be speaking to you this month and all you need to do is look out for them and listen. If your spiritual goals this month are awareness and expansion, the energy is also going to support this. That's why this month is really exciting. Gemini does bring that mental expansion. Of course, we spoke about communication and expression. So there might be different things that bring this up in you and you can embrace this. And then we have the energy of cancer. That's all about, like I said, the emotion and bringing us deeper into our hearts and also listening to those inner needs and not suppressing those. All of those together create expansion. They create awareness. So this is actually an extremely productive month with really fun, exciting energy. But at the same time, we're being very productive. We're doing the ancestral healing. We're looking at all the emotional wounding and we're processing it so that we can create an even stronger foundation to launch into when we go into July. As always, I am wishing you a beautiful month ahead. May June be the month where you align with your highest self and you experience all the joy and all the love that you deserve. Thank you.